Hey everyone, Rolum here. Today, for Is This Game Any Good, we'll be playing Stardew Valley. I've been playing this for a little bit and I've just gotten to the point where I can actually marry someone. And it's going to happen in, I think, two days? Yeah, two in-game days. Uh, first of all, this game is all about, well, if you've played or know about Harvest Moon, you'll know just about how, how it works. I'll try not to do anything too spoilerific. You know, I'm not going to actually go through with the wedding, most probably, because... Spoilers! Uh, but I will tell you, you will need just about... I think it was... 5,000 for basically the wedding ring. Or to actually propose. And then you will need about another... 10,000 to upgrade your house from the regular shack that uh, your grandfather left for you. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I'm not even clicking the button. I'm not even Twitch clicking it like I usually do. Yeah, I'm not even fucking clicking it. But it kind of does that sometimes. Just suddenly like... Shh, shh, shh. That, okay, that one was me, but... Uh, basically, this is a game about farming, mining, scavenging, fighting, romance, crafting, um, taking care of animals. <laughs> There's a lot of things you can do in this game. That's actually one of the things I love a lot about it. Oh, yes, corn. I finally got all three uh, types of, you know, all three, you know, how good the corn is. Here's the thing. In this game, you know, as you get better, as you get higher skills and such, you will get, uh, here for example, hoe efficiency and water can efficiency. I don't think that actually, well, it, it probably does affect how good, it, how good the crops are, maybe. But I think mainly what's actually changing crops here is my basic fertilizer. It makes the crops grow into quality crops, uh, a higher chance of quality crops. Uh, also, yes, I know that this is a little bit shabby made, but I am currently... Well, I'm going to start moving it in soon-ish. I just want to actually have the house somewhat finished first. Also, yes, I know it has a fucking TARDIS effect. Every house in this game has the TARDIS effect. First of all, it, with farming, let's just start. You have to start by watering your crops, or else they won't grow. I haven't actually tried to let them just go a very long time without watering them, but chances are they'll just wither and die. And and this is a sprinkler. It's a second tier sprinkler. They they are actually very nice. Although, I I want the last tier sprinkler, but that one is expensive compared to the materials that I currently do have. But here's the thing. You will most probably want to build them, if you can. Uh, once you can. Also, just click on here if you want to f actually fill. You it just uh, As usual, I try to get as much tips and such as I can, you know, from what I have learned myself. And yeah, just run over here, click to refill. I know it looks like you're just emptying it, but you click to refill. Okay, first of all, as you can see, the farming goes rather efficiently. You want here's the thing: you will need a scarecrow, and the scarecrow will deter crows an eight tile radius out from every single you know every single way. In other words, eight this way, eight this way. And and if you have you no know, nine out, and without another scarecrow over here, the crows will just go down and start eating those crops. So you will want to be a little bit careful with you know, placing crops and such. But as I was going to say about the uh, sprinklers, uh, as it is for my plants, are to have the sprinklers be in my unmanned farm area. So I'm gonna have one large area that's just sprinklers. Because you know that will help me with um, money, a lot of, actually a lot. Because you can see the energy bar down here on the bottom left hand, no bottom right hand corner. It's going down. The more you water, the more you till. In other words, if you have 
This guy is probably saving me a bunch of energy. Let's see. Yeah, it's saving me approximately 8 energy every single day. I just upgraded this, my bars, so... Uh, one of the good things about skills. Uh, once you get 5 in and up to 10, and uh, 5 and 10, you'll get, you know, get to choose a different skill, I guess. You know, crops are worth 10% more. Money. Gatherer, chance of double harvest. I could have gotten 50% uh, more on wood, but I was just like, nah. You know, it's going to take the price from 2 to 3, and I need wood for building, so I w I'm not selling it. You know, fish is worth more. Again, fish is very nice. Uh, also, these guys are basically just making jam and pickles. I'm doing this because jam and pickles are worth more than their regular counterparts. I'm pretty certain they are. If they aren't, I am a fool. Yep, you just throw this into here. I have a multiple chests of a lot of things. As a different grades, you know, gold star is worth most, no star is worth the least. But there's a few things you will want to keep in mind here. You have this called the community center where there's something in there where you can, you know, deliver things. And you'll get little bundles. For example, if I finish the pantry, I'll get a greenhouse. If I friendship, Friendship? I don't know, maybe get friendship with the guys to that ask. Maybe. Uh, bus repair, you can go to another town and get you know rare items, I think. Minecarts repaired, I f that's for fast traveling, I'm pretty certain. Uh, glittering boulder I've removed. I'm not entirely sure which that is. Maybe it's up in the mine. Maybe. I don't know. A bridge repair. The bridge repair is for a bridge up here that's broken. Mine carts. There, there, I know there's one here, one here, one in the mine. And uh, there might be one or two more. Here's the thing. That's, per, that's pretty good because you use a lot of time to actually walk around here. So you can just walk in here, fast travel up to the mine. Fa or fast travel down to blacksmith. Uh, down here we got a fi large fishing area. Uh, you have a question mark up here, a question mark up here, a spa up here because an earthquake actually opened that. And then you got you know there's a lot of people to meet. So also if you want to actually marry someone, you need to you need to get their hearts up to ten. You can get these hearts up by giving them gifts they like, or by just talking to them every single day. But if you do not talk to them. You will lose one heart. Like I had the one heart with this guy. It's a fucking pain in the ass to get up. Because... He stays in his room almost all day and only comes out during nights. I sleep at night. You know, I, I at the beginning, as you can see, my... Heck, thanks to my upgrade, I didn't lose that much energy by doing my, my daily chores. But still... That's a lot of energy gone. You know, energy that I'm probably going to end up using on um, uh, either, either scavenging, getting rid of trees, rocks. The farm has a lot of trees and rocks. And here we got the little town. I actually kind of like this, you know, simplistic style. You know, run around. Whenever I run around after farming, I just run around town, speak to as many people as possible. You know, actually, I have yeah, decent enough. You know, I, these guys have two uh, two hearts. That's only with talking to them. So let's see. I want to buy some more bok chow. Nine of them. They have a very low low time. And you want to keep in mind uh, the date because in this the seasons I have four gold bars. I still only have one gold bar. Um, here we got it, for example, fall. There's four seasons in the game. Each season is 24 days long. Uh, there's different special events going on. And they got birthdays. If you give a person a gift they love or like on their birthday, they will give you, uh, I think, two hearts. Or maybe it's even three. I don't know. Maybe it's two and two and a half, liked and loved. 
and you will want to give them gifts on their birthday as that will just boost your friendship with them. Very cheaply boosted as well. Uh, okay, I was hoping we'd actually see some uh, worms. You know what, it basically it seems like some couple of worms in the ground that stick their head up when they're like, just looking around. That basically means that there are an item down there. And you need to do, use the hoe and bam, get it. Uh, I do not wish to go down there yet, because, well not yet uh, anymore, because I've already been down there once. I want to go down to floor 15, because I know floor 15 is safe and I've already done it, so it shouldn't be too hard. Ah, crap. And here's one of the places where this game differs from uh, games like Harvest Moon. There's actually a rather uh, big fighting and exploration mechanic in these mines, for example. Oh, Jesus, there's three of them. Oh, shit. I hate fighting one of them. Okay, earth crystals. Uh, good quality? Nah. Artifact, chewing stick. You'll find some different stuff down here. Mainly you're down here for the materials. And to, ki and to kill some more slimes and such. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. Okay. okay. Oh, wait. I don't have my pickaxe yet. I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's just take the elevator up. You got, you got the gist of it. You got the gist of it. Uh, basically, <laughs> what happened there? Oh, no. That's probably the glistening, glistening rock. Huh. I wonder what's in there. Yeah, basically, I upgraded my pickaxe not lo not long ago, and it takes two days for it to actually get finished upgrading. I think it's gonna be in either one or two days, meaning I can actually go pick it up. It costs like two gold and five copper bars for this level. I think next level will be iron, and I will need even more. Oh god. Here you can see the minecarts. Uh, oh my god, my throat has suddenly got like extremely dry. Basically, this is the library. You can you can donate items and artifacts to him, and he will tell you what it's worth, and you will get different items in return. Uh, one thing I haven't actually gotten. I actually reset the save once because, uh, okay, I know a lot more now than I did then. So let's reset the save and yeah. Also, all of the NPCs have their own lives. They go all over the place and do you know, whatever they want to do. They're scared. Okay, uh, she has the same thing. She lives on a farm, he lives in here. Uh, I basically just run around, talk to everyone since I have already seen every single one of them. Yep, I have a kitchen in my house now. I just upgraded it. Uh, basically, just run around, talk to people. Also, you can do this. I didn't actually get anything, but... Uh, if anyone sees you go through rummaging through garbage, they will be disgusted by you. And you will lose a little bit of affection with them. Yo! Uh, wild carrot. Oh, right. I was supposed to deliver a wild carrot to her. I forgot. Oh well. And basically, you run around and you forage. Because that's what they do the rest of the day. Although, bamboo pole. Fishing. Yeah, I fucked up a little bit there, but... It, it still hit the water. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. Hit. And this is the fishing. Yep, this is how you fish. It's a little bit bullshit sometimes. Because some of these guys are... Damn near impossible to get perfect. Because it goes like up, down, up, down, up, down, and just goes. <laughs> At least I have had it sometimes if you're unlucky. And it's just like <sighs> infuriating. <laughs> Stop doing that, goddammit. As you see, the energy didn't actually get expended that much. You know, it's fine. You don't need to use all your energy every single day. It's not really a thing you must do. Also, a quick tip, the jo pickle and your pickling and such, do not throw in your gold quality stuff. 
only throw in like the lowest quality. From my experience, it doesn't actually give you like a silver or, or gold star if you throw in a silver or gold star material. So I would recommend throwing in the lowest you find. Again, just throw that into here. Again, I'm a, I'm a loot hoarder deluxe. Although, to be honest, in this game, I haven't even loot hoarded that much. It's just that you will want to keep a lot of items. Your people will ask, just like, hey, can you give me X? And you're just like, hell yeah, I can. And the best, and if you already have it laying around, you won't even have to go and scavenge for it. And when people ask for it, it's just, it give you a lot more. And you can do cooking later as well. Meaning that you'll get even more out of it. So I'm personally just saving up all of my items. You know, all of the ones I can't be bothered to save up, of course. Wait, why didn't it go in? There. Ah, uh, I must have a right click it right clicked. Left click takes all one right click takes one. And shift right clicks takes uh, puts in half. I should also get my, myself a couple more lights and such. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Your progress has been saved. I didn't sell anything. That's in the big box right next to my chest. Throw into there and you will... Let's see. Red report. Yeah. You will also want to you know, check the news channel to maybe find new recipes and such. For example, you know, Farmer's Lunch, Survival Burger, Miner's Treat. There's a bunch of different ones here. And they give you a bit decent amount of energy and such. You know, a fried egg is 50-20. Uh, and that is an increase from... Let's check. An increase from 25-10. So that's a big upgrade. If you're actually going to eat it yourself. And I'm pretty certain that the worth goes up as well. Let me just quickly grab all of these produce. You can earn a lot of money farming as well, so... And the greenhouse is actually one that you I really want, because in winter you can't grow anything. But if I had the greenhouse, although to actually get the greenhouse you have to do pretty, uh, the first year, you have to do pretty much damn near perfect in the game. You have to get some artisan bundles, actually these guys are fucking expensive, so again you have to be rich, get a lot of money early on to actually get these. Also, as you can see, the birds are actually jumping around. The game is paused. I mean, these are just decoration. They don't stop. Uh, I actually have four, three of those them. You know, honey, jelly, cloth. But I don't have goat cheese, cheese, truffle oil, or any of the trees. You know, basically, you can just get trees. Animal bundle. I have large egg. I haven't actually gotten the barn. So I don't have uh, large milk. Uh, or goat milk or wool. Uh, I don't have any ducks or uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, basically, this means that you need five of them, five out of six. Or quality crops. This one is just all about luck, really, early on. Because you don't have fertilizer the first season, most probably. So, yeah, actually getting this is rather difficult the first year. This year, although, I actually have pumpkins. Uh, five star gold star pumpkins, meaning that it's going to be much easier for me to actually get it next season, or next year, as I have, um, uh, all I would actually need is, you know, three things, which I can get in uh, spring and summer. And then I'll also be working on the artisan, of course, because during winter, what else am I fucking supposed to do? <laughs> also, uh, keeping all the stuff can be very nice, just so... Ah, uh, come on. I actually want to get something from these garbage cans. I can show you what you can get. Mostly just food items or junk items. The junk items you might get are mostly useless, but you can actually get... Let's see, where is it? Recycling machine. You can turn fishing trash into resources. The trash you find here are basically exactly the fishing trash. So, also, I haven't actually found a real reason to even use fences. I'm going to use fences on my private farm, at the very least, because it would look good, but that's pretty much it. 
Let's see. Life elixir. Restores health to full. No, it doesn't. It restores 80 health out of 110 for me. Actually, no, 115 for me. Wild seeds for all of the. <laughs> wow, I already have winter. Huh. Uh, these guys. Ah, I would want them. I really want to make these. But they're consumed on use. If they weren't consumed on use, I would really get them. I would. Because they are. <laughs> You know, you can teleport, it saves a lot of time. You know, just walking down here after farming and such, probably took me like 20-30 minutes. Uh, of in-game minutes, of course. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Being able to actually teleport all over the place would save a lot of time. You know, a lot more time you can use on foraging, I suppose. Yeah, this, I think this is basically where you teleport in. I don't know if there's anything else to do with them, but I think that's what you teleport into. I think. Also, when you if you try to play this game yourself, which I would actually recommend, it's where it's very fun. This bridge is broken. It costs three hundred wood to fix. I would say fix it. These fuckers are so worth it. I think like the base ones are sixty gold each. You know. And they get, you know, this is 150% of the price, 150% price, I think. That's probably 125. It's like, yep, I just went in there, picked up a bunch of money. As I said, wood is, it's not even worth it, really, to sell. Unless if you have, like, thousands, but, you know, you still need wood for, well, just about freaking anything. And you can use wood to make coal. So, wood is extremely valuable. You don't want to sell them. That's why I'm just like foraging. Like, wood is more. You can sell wood for more. Don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to sell my wood. Again, this is the guy you buy seeds from. You can also sell your stuff directly to him. Again, left click is all, right click is one. And you can buy a backpack. Which has more inventory space. In the first one, you only have this, which is annoying as fucking hell. You will want that first le level 1 upgrade. You need that level 1 upgrade. Uh, let's see. Okay, she just says exactly the same thing. Once you actually get married with them, they will move into in with you on the farm and help you around the, doing some simple chores. Which is very nice, you yeah, know, but I didn't even think about that when I first, uh, okay, let's see. There we go. Yes. A, uh, <laughs> a copper pickaxe. Uh, basically, I am already planning on upgrading my watering can and my hoe, but I'm going to do it during winter when I can't use them anyways. You know, <laughs> doing it now would be the stupidest thing I would have ever done. Holy shit, it's already out and going. Holy crap. Ah, I'm, gonna I'm gonna talk to you. There you go. I have now spoken to you. Uh, basically, a lot of the different uh, black bachelors and bachelorettes. Uh, basically, everyone that's single. And actually, this is a thing that I rather like about the game. They. <laughs> Uh, first of all, it's very inclusive with same sex and such. You can do whatever you want, really, when it comes to marriage. There's five bachelors and five bachelorettes. You can get married to any of them if you want to. But they actually... <laughs> I don't know how it works, but uh, you probably adopt them. You can get kids with any one of them as well. So you don't have to worry about gender when it comes to having kids in this game. Which, while not the most immersive thing... I actually rather enjoy it because it, that does leave a lot more choice to the player. You know, you don't restrict the player, uh, player's choices themselves with that going like, well, I do want to have kids in this game, you know, sooner or later. So I guess I'm going to have to go with this instead of this. You know, it doesn't restrict you in that in that fashion, which I actually rather enjoy. Uh, the character that I uh, my character is, is um, uh, marrying is basically kinda this town's teacher. Uh, there's only two kids, 
Um, and she basically helps them by actually teaching them because she wants them to get a proper education even though there's no schools in town. You know, I wish that... I don't think you can, but it would be really cool if you could actually make a school building on your farm if you marry her. That would actually be... You know, again, it's a small things. And I think that would actually be very... It would be cool. You know, it would be so... It, you know, it wouldn't be a big thing, it would just be like, yeah, you know, for that, it, I think that would be cool anyways. Because again, this town doesn't have a school. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've basically shown you eh, pretty much all there is to show in this game. It's, it's simple, but hard. You have to keep in mind all of the dates, you know, the bok chow that I bought has a 4 day growing period, while pumpkins have a 13 day growing period. In other words, I'm pretty certain it's you grow it, you plant it, and 13 la days later it is um, ready. It's like, yeah. So for now, you know, if I buy a pumpkin now and plant it, it will just wither away and die the second it's, it's winter. Or if you buy something in summer that's only summer, it will wither away and die the second you go into um, uh, next season. Uh, actually, let's see, do I want an apple tree maybe? If the eight surrounding tiles are empty. I want, oh no, that's only eight, the eight surrounding tiles. Oh my god, I read that wrong so much. When I first read that, I just went like, Eight, Jesus Christ, eight in every direction? What the fuck is wrong with this? But no, oh, of course, eight surrounding tiles, of course. Yeah, let's, let's plant some apples. Uh, let's see, if I sell this, this, uh, I have plenty of this. Sell the blackberries and this, and now I can get another tree. Uh, the trees are basically a permanent income. Uh, it only bears fruit in the fall. In other words, I'm buying... Uh, I shouldn't actually bought those. Whatever. <laughs> you can always just quit the game and load in again. It only saves when you go to sleep. As I said, I like this game. It's, it's simple. A little bit simple, just running around, farming, fishing, scavenging talking to everyone, but really though, I really wish there was a few things different in this game. I really wish, uh, because if I don't talk to, let's see, Maru in a very long time, the hearts will go on zero and we'll, I'll basically be a stranger to her. It's like, mm, is that really how friendships work in real life? No, we already know the person. I would say that instead, have these be you know, permanent locked. So that you go can go down two hearts, but once you reach this, they turn, you can say, blue, and it is basically an old friend. But with a little bit of work, a lot but a lot less work than actually getting it all the way up again, you can get them, you know, into a, a current friend again or something like that. At the very least that's something I would think would I think would work and you would still have to go around talking to everyone. But it wouldn't just be, oh hey, you haven't talked to me in like uh, three months. I don't know you anymore. Who the fuck are you? You know, because I think that's rather silly, really. I don't know, that's, that's just personal opinion and personal choice though. So it could very well be that's a very stupid choice, personal opinion. But, um, oh well. Oh my god, it's not strong enough to break this? I just upgraded. My god, how strong are these fuckers? I wanted to actually have my trees down here, but dang it. Uh, oh well. Uh, again, this is Stardew Valley. You can find it on Steam. And I, I think it's very nice. It's decently cheap. A very small... Um, uh, team of people made it, I think it might actually just have been one person. Whereas ever this it's not that not many people made this. And I like it. This is a bug though. 
there used to be a hole in this, and now we can walk there. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bug, but oh well. I actually haven't found that many bugs in this game. I have found one or two, but not that many. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next video. Thank you.